Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do all like the loomy gloomy basics. For example, the magic ring. Um, and how to like increase and decrease like on your magic ring. So yeah. For um, loomy gloomy and in the, and like this video, you're going to need a hook. You don't need a loom, you just need a hook. And you're also going to need um, some S clips and obviously some bags so yeah okay so during the beginning you do a lot of um like slip knots so basically what i mean by that is for example if you just make a cat band around your hook go around like maybe three times um or two and then you would like so you need to hold your hook like this, just like, however it feels comfortable. And then you take another band, and you, one second, let me zoom in. And then you kind of pull the ends of your um, cat band, and then you just like, slowly twist your hook with the band on, and pull through the three or how many bands but um yeah so just like that and then if you wanted to do like it again with your two bands um this is another thing that you're going to be doing quite often just pull it down like this then you're going to twist your hook again and pull it through the one band and then you have made a slip knot right there so that's mainly what you're going to be doing with loomy groomy is a slip like a bunch of slip knots to make a design or something but yeah next we're going to move on to the magic circle okay so now for the magic circle what you're going to do is wrap your um your band around your hook two times off i don't know wait so like two times so then you have three like loops or whatever on your hook you know um so yeah like we are doing and we're gonna do that same thing that we are doing so we're just gonna put on another band on our hook pull these down twist our hook like that pull through these three bands pull this down and reclaim the end so we're just gonna pull this over on to the just like that so that's pretty simple it's pretty easy now you're gonna do that same thing where you slip that we did so you're gonna slip not this band into that band like we did so we're gonna twist our hook pull it through just like that so now you should have one band on your hook okay so now as you can see we have a little hoop here that is our cat band with three bands here and that is like your start off of your magic ring so now we're gonna go in through the cat band slash our magic ring seem to be um all three bands we're gonna go through them just oops that's only two just go through all three bands so then you have three bands on your hook now so you should have three bands and one band over here and then you're just going to take another band you're going to pull this and you're going to twist your hook like this and you're only going to go through the three bands so you're going to keep that one band on and then you're going to reclaim the end so now you, oops so now you should have three bands on your hook like this okay so now we're gonna do a slip knot but with three bands basically but when we started we had one band two two bands on here and we slip knotted one band into the up next band but because we've got three bands we're gonna think of these two as one band so these two are one band and we're gonna put this one through these two bands slash one band so we're just gonna 
twist our hook and pull it through the two like that so now you should be left with one band on your hook okay so now like we did last time we're gonna go through the our cat band or the fruit like the magic circle i mean magic yeah magic circle no magic ring i mean um and so you have three bands on your hook here and one band there we're gonna do the same thing by getting another band putting it on our hook like that and then we're just gonna pull these down twist our hook put it through the three bands just like that so we have two bands one band oops like that so then we're obviously gonna do the same thing that we did gonna think of these two bands as one band this is one band and we're gonna go take this one band through these two bands just like that okay so that's basically what we're gonna be doing for the rest of the um magic ring and we're gonna be doing that six times so we're gonna go through our I can find it our magic ring like that so we have three bands right there and one band there grab another band then we're gonna twist it bring it through only the first three bands then reclaim it on your hook then we're gonna do the same thing where we think of these two bands as one band and then we're gonna go through like that okay so so far we have done one two three think yeah one two three stitches so we're gonna go through the magic ring three more times we're gonna go through the magic ring like we did put our band on go through three bands reclaim this end think of the two bands as one go through just like now the slip knots that we're doing, you don't want them too tight, so make sure they're not too tight. So now we're going to go through the magic ring again, take our one band, twist it, pull it through three bands. If this does happen, just re-go back through. So if you go through the other band by accident, just go back through it, so now you still have two bands, then reclaim. Okay, and then we're obviously just going to do, think of these two bands as one, go through, just like that, and then this is going to be our last stitch, so we're going to go through the magic ring once more, make sure we have three bands on our hook, and one here, grab our band, go through, twist it, go through the three bands, and then reclaim. And we're gonna take our first band and put it through the two bands, just like that. And there you go, you have got your magic ring. Okay, so your magic ring should look something like this. Um, as you can see, mine's a bit messy, um, but it's okay if yours is as well, because most magic rings are not perfect. And the magic ring is a bit hard as well. So basically, you should see these little chains around the outside of this ring right here. Um, so as you can see, there are little V's that are going all the way along. Some of these are a bit twisted, so that's okay. You can untwist them, and then there's just like a hole. So that is your magic ring. Okay, so now this is where your S clip comes in. Now these are just like stitch markers basically. Now you can use also like S clips, um, crochet things, 
or whatever you want to call them crochet clips and stuff um just to mark your rows so these it doesn't mean like if you don't put one on it's all going to fall apart or something it just it's kind of like it really helpful otherwise you might go around the row too many times that you're supposed to so i would put one of these on if i were you okay so now we're gonna move on to increasing and decreasing okay so we're gonna do increasing first because i think it's one of the most easiest so basically increasing is where you're kind of doing the same thing i guess but you're going in the stitch you're like doing it twice i don't really know how to explain but basically um so you're gonna see one of these little v's right here you're gonna go in the v so just go in through the v so now these should be two bands and then you're just gonna pull it along then we're gonna grab our band you're gonna put it on like this and instead of going through like three bands like last time which was like Catman, we're gonna go through the stitch basically so we're just gonna go through the first two bands then we're gonna reclaim re reclaim it just like that now we will have two bands like last time so we're just gonna pretend these two bands are one band this band's not so we're just gonna pull it through those two bands so you're gonna be less with one band now if you can see closely if I pull this band, it pulls on this band right, these two bands right here. We're going to go in through those bands again. So we're putting two slip knots into one stitch. So we're going to grab another band. We're going to put it on. Put it through the two bands, just like that. And then reclaim the other end. Once we've done that, we're going to go through these two bands. This one band's going to go through these two bands just like that you might get a bit stuck just like this so i've still got another band so i'm just gonna pull that one over just like that so now we put two slip knots into one stitch so now we're gonna go on to the next stitch and do the same thing so the next stitch would be right here so we're gonna go through that stitch right there grab our band like this put it through those two bands reclaim it and pull this through the two bands like that okay and then we're gonna do the same thing so if we pull on this band we see it's coming from that band right here so we're gonna go through that band right there that two bands this should be like two bands made out of one band basically. Grab a band, put it through the two, so it's one band, and then see, we're gonna do the same thing, pull this one through, pull this one through these two bands, like that. So we basically do this all the way around until we get to our S clip. So I'll see you guys in a minute once I've done that. Okay, so I'm on my last few stitches, so I'll show you what to do once you're finished. So, just bring it back in. And also, you obviously had a positive video for that part, because I did speed it up. Um, but yeah, so your last stitch should be the one with the S clip in, so don't skip that one, make sure you do that one. So I just go through the one with the S clip in. And do that. Go through the one with the S clip again. If this does happen, don't worry. It's not 
and everything it's pretty easy to fix I will show you in a minute how to fix that oops wait I forgot go through it go through and go from just like that so now you have one you've increased all the way around so now you're just going to take your ice clip, this one, take it off your, um, your band and put it on the new band. So this is like a row marker to show like where your row ends, ends so that means you can end your row there. So we have just done an increased row, so now I'm going to be showing you how to decrease. Okay, so decreasing it, it is harder for some people, it is easier for some people. Um, so yeah, so basically, it is different. So we're going to see these chains around the, fi um, this, like, the stitches around the ring. So what we're going to do is we're going to see this one right here. We're going to go through the first band, so not these, both of them, only through the first band. Then we're gonna go through the next chain stitch, I mean, um, through the second band. So not the first band again, like we did here, the second band. Just like that. So now we should have three bands on our hook. We're gonna put these two together, like one band. We're gonna grab another band. And we're gonna pull it through those two bands and re hook chain i mean reclaim okay. um, and we're gonna do the same thing so we're putting this one band through these two just like that so you have done one decrease now we don't go through again like we did last time now we're just going to the next stitch and doing the same thing so through the first part of the stitch and through the second part of the next stitch um above next to it um so yeah and then we pull it through the two bands reclaim it pull it through these two bands now you've done another decrease and then you just go through just like this oh can i show you just like that then we're gonna grab your next band, put it through, reclaim, and put it through the two. So you're basically doing that all the way around, and then you have decreased all the way around. So yeah, I'll see you in a minute once I've done that. Okay, so now on your last two stitches, it is a bit hard to see. So basically, this stitch right here is one of the last stitches. And then it looks like there's not another stitch to go through. But there is actually the one with the S-clip. So you're going to go through the first one with this one right here. And then you're going to look very closely on this one to try and find the second stitch, which is right here. And then you've got it. Take another band go through, reclaim, go through the two bands, um, second, being very stubborn again, like that, so now you're going to take your S clip off, and you're gonna put it on the new band like that so now you've done another you've done another row but it's been decreased so as you can kind of see it's like start to curve around and that's how you're going to be doing your designs 
because we're now going to move on to the mistakes you can make while loomy grooming. So basically, first of all is that mistake that I made earlier. So basically, I'm going to do a row of um, increasing here. So basically, I'm going to look on top of my bounds. I'm going to go through the first one like that. Grab another one here. Um, and then I'm going to pull my uh, band through the two bands. But then I accidentally go through the next band. If I've done that, what you're going to do is find that band that you just went through. Pull your hook over it again. So now it's back on your hook. Okay, and then I'm going to continue to reclaim it. Oh no, I don't reclaim it. It comes out. It's fine. Nothing has gone wrong. You just need to go back through that uh, chain again. Take the band again. Pull it through. Reclaim. And go through the bands. So that's a mistake that I um, make a lot. Um, and then if you wanted to undo a stitch, all you would have to do is, there's quite a lot of undoing um, to do when you want it. So you're going to take the band that is wrapped around, pull it off, and then you're going to want to take the, the next band and pull it off like that. Take it off your hook. Oops and pull it off and then you have done your you have undone your stitch my s clip came off when i was doing that but you just put it back on so that's a mistake that i commonly made and i just wanted to like share it with you guys um now if you are doing a tutorial like like you're following a tutorial on how to make something out of loomy groomy um, and they say do a single chain. That's not increasing or decreasing. You're basically doing an increase. But without going it through a second time. You just leave it like that. And then yeah. So you don't have to make another a magic ring. If you're closing something up. You just have to decrease. So yeah. Now to practice um, doing this. To practice like making magic rings and stuff. And increasing, decreasing. Just make things like this, um, just to help practice, and then you can start Loomy Groomy. So yeah, you also need stuffing for Loomy Groomy. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I also wanted to share with you my first ever Loomy Groomy design, just to give you some ideas. So yeah, so this is it. So it's space. It's a B, which I feel like is quite a common design for Loomy Groomy. Um. So yeah, so the eyes on Loomy Groomy, they don't always have to be, like, pins. If you've seen, they can be bands, like here, right here. Now, um, the the wings I did on this, they're a bit dodgy, where I had to, like, put them on halfway through. And as you can see, the end is a bit dodgy as well, and it's not perfect. But it's my first ever design, so it's not looking too good. As you can see, there's a few, like, little holes in it. You can see the stuffing through. But the thing I like about Loomy Groomy is it's really squishy and nice to play with. And you get a cute little bee or design. If you just search up bee, Loomy Groomy like design, there'll be loads you can pick from if you're looking to do for a bee. Um, I didn't do the normal colours of a bee, I just did um, purple and white. But you can do whatever. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped just... Practice makes purpose and bye!